Today we're having a discussion about one of our breakouts at the Corn College event, having an individual meal plan for the hybrid and the environment uh, that your hybrid is in. And just like any team, a good individual meal plan so everybody's well nourished becomes part of how that team would perform. Same thing goes for hybrids as we think about where that hybrid is, uh, what field are we putting in, what location, what kind of soil conditions are we putting it in, and how does that hybrid respond in the plan as we're putting it together? How are we going to help it? How are we going to find its weaknesses and fix it uh, with the meal plan? All right, so in this breakout, we're going to learn how we can match a nitrogen program with each hybrid's specific needs. And this is based on years of data from our um, hybrid and nitrogen plots. Uh, we've come to know that some hybrids benefit more from earlier applications while others benefit more from later applications. And finding that perfect timing as we think about the four R's becomes part of how we fix a weakness in a hybrid that otherwise uh, could be left maybe 20, 30 bushel in the field by not following through and getting a good finish. Correct. So understanding uh, how and when a, a specific variety likes its nutrients or when it's uh, most important to attend to that becomes part of how we, we mitigate risk uh, out there, how we, how we mitigate risk for one hybrid may be different than another. Yeah, so creating custom nutrient plans for your farm could be the next big step in increasing your farm's ROI, especially in uh, days like these where margins are already tight. It's, our, it's very important to get the most bang for your buck out of nitrogen applications. So what are we going to be able to show them in this breakout? What are they going to see or learn about the, that uh, hybrid and interaction between the hybrid and the placement and the timing of our nutrients. So um, in this breakout we're going to walk through our teaching plots where we have some different nitrogen rates as well as different hybrids and things of that nature and you can see um, how hybrids react differently when under stress at different times of the year and also how um, different hybrids can um, mitigate some of that risk uh, more, effect more effectively with starter fertilizer compared to some other hybrids. So if we have one, two hybrids in the field and they both turn yellow in the season then come back green and, and take off, one of them may be damaged quite a bit more than, than, the, than the other one, depending on how it handles stress at that time. Yeah, correct. So um, early stress is obviously going to affect girth in those years. Those early G hybrids are going to get bit when they're in that ugly corn stage. Um, you know, stress around tassel time, that's going to affect those um, the L's. And then obviously finishing out the year, it's important to get the depth of kernel. So if we have two hybrids on the other end of that spectrum that shortly after pollination start to show nitrogen stress, it could be um, knocking 30, 40, 50 bushel off of one hybrid, and then the hybrid next to it still looks the same. It looks nitrogen deficient, but actually finishes with quite a bit more bushels in the tank, say, because it can handle that back end stress. Yep. It's not always apples to apples when comparing different hybrids, so um, it's important to know your hybrid's tendencies and be able to um, manage around those and get the most effective response out of your nitrogen applications. Yeah. So not only can we customize our nutrient plan, our meal plan for the hybrid and the hybrid's characteristics, today we can take it a step further and we can look at the soil and the soil supplying power and get that balance, what the soil can supply and, and what the hybrid needs and at what time. All right, so uh, another part of this breakout will be learning how to balance soil supplied nitrogen along with farmer applied nitrogen. And um, knowing what the soil is supplying allows us to pull back the rate in some of those zones that are supplying a lot of uh, nitrogen just naturally and reallocate those resources to other parts of the field in order to raise your bottom line. And we could talk about the technology today makes this so much easier than it would have just five years ago and definitely almost impossible ten years ago. So as we create a specialized meal plan for each hybrid and for each field or situation that we're putting them into, once we implement that plan, there's going to have to be some what we call boots on the ground, kind of take, keeping an eye on the crop and what's going on and making uh, decisions as we go or adjustments. Take this year, for instance, growers have anywhere from 10 to 15 inches of rain now on top of the fertilizer that they've applied. So that's going to rattle things up a little bit. What's this breakout, Eli, going to help these guys when they have to make decisions on the go out in the field? What, what are we going to be able to teach them? So we're going to teach you how um, the managers must communicate with the pest bosses in order to make those adjustments, all while not putting the operators in a tough situation. So the operators will be important to be here and so they know how to make a custom nutrient plan from an equipment and labor perspective. And the pest bosses will get to know how to scout and what to scout for in order to make those adjustments throughout the year. And then the managers are going to have to take all this information in and figure out the logistics and the economical side of how do we how do we make, for instance, a nitrogen rescue in a field and when do we make it so we don't make it too late and end up basically wasting that money? 